Good day, my farming friends. How in the heck are you? Good to see you. Welcome back to the Polish farming empire that Sophie and I have been running. We've been back in, uh, we've been across the pond over there in, well, not across the pond, because if we're in Poland, we just kind of, well, we're across the English Channel. To our Chellington Valley farm, we've been busy uh, kicking that golf cart jockey's arse. And I think we're doing, we're doing, <laughs> we're doing pretty good, but we had to come back here and check on the boys. Um, see what's been going on, and they came back, and it was freaking raining. It's raining. The potato, um, the potato free-for-all here is kind of just, uh, kind of see stop a little bit this mid-autumn day. Uh, let's try to get things started again. We, we can get things started in the rain. That's why we have all these nice sheds here, you know? You know what I mean? And we have the train cars down there that is being, uh, full. So, yeah, I'll get that thing up and running here. This thing has got, um... Oh, yeah, it was full of pretty potatoes. It's got to wash potatoes. So we'll get that filled up into the truck. When the truck gets full, then I can go down to, um, take it down to the rail car. And we'll get that one up and running. Let's see. I get this one up and running here, too. Hopefully it, it fills up in there. There you go. Good job. Way to go. Way to go, my friends. And then this one. Oh, yeah, that one's full of premium potatoes. Ooh, holy crap. We are really making some potatoes here, aren't we? Uh, get that one up and running. We'll get that thing filled. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Into there, and we'll jump over this potato sorter. Let's see, how's this one looking? Oh, yeah, it's full too. So we gotta get this line up and running there too. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, I gotta do these ones here. We gotta go inside here. Let's go check on this one. This is the one we just did. I remember now, we're in the middle one. Nope, gotta get this one up and running. This is a complicated process. It really is, but it works easy now. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Hopefully that'll fill up. Yep, that one's working. Sometimes these conveyors move a little bit on you. You gotta watch them. You gotta watch them. Anyways, uh, I'm worried about Sophie. Yeah, the sheriff, sheriff's car drove by here a little bit ago. And I'm like, oh my god, are they coming after you, Sophie? 1.4 million still in the hole. And I'm kind of I'm kind of worried about it. So I did call... Oh, that one's full. We can take that down to the train car too. Perfect. So I did call the local uh, credit union. Farm Credit Services down there, and because of our assets, because of we, you know, we have assets that uh, we could use as collateral, and um, we could probably borrow some money. And here's the thinking: I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing a little do something a little dodgy. Yep, that one's full too. Holy crap, they're all full. Um, what have they, what, what have everybody been doing around here if they're not getting these potatoes moving? Uh, crap, I tell you. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I called the credit union. We can get up to 2.5 million in the bank, and here's what I'm thinking about doing. Down, uh, down in the southern eastern part of the valley here, there's a um, a field. Two fields that are just split by a grass field, but they could be one field. And um, what I'm thinking is, my friends, there's onions on there. There are onions on there. Well, I'm going to look before we left here. What is the... Uh, hey, thanks for watching there. Oh no, that's the wrong button. I don't want that button. Uh, this button. I want this button. Um, how long can I harvest onions? Okay, it's the third and fourth day. So I have two more days left. And, um, okay, third and fourth day. So, problem is, if it didn't stop raining, I would never get them done. But it's these two fields here, 50 and 51. Down here, um, right by Rompel. Rompel. Yeah, so it's about 50. They got the guy wants um, holy crap, what's his name? Arkadusz. Okay, he wants 581,000 for that field, and the same guy, Arkadusz, 129,000 for that field. So, crap, I don't know. Maybe I should wait and see if the weather does tomorrow because we still have some potato. We, we're still harvesting potatoes. We're shut down now because of the weather. Um, we are still harvesting potatoes. Let's see, I can't remember. We got. Um, Okay, we did four, three, four, five, and then one, seven, and eight. Yeah, there, there, there's Sophie had to park the harvester right there. One, seven, and eight are potatoes, and that is leased ground. So we don't own that. That's leased. So I'm thinking, yeah, we did all the other harvesting. Yeah, let's see. Let's just go back to growth. Yeah, we got so we got fields that we need to get worked on here too, and um, yeah. Oh, we did it. We, oh, we did one? Oh, we did one. We did th one, three, four, five, and we have seven and eight that are just the last two of the fields that need to be um, 
harvested of the potatoes. So we'll be running, we'll be running uh, our potato sorters and washers for a while here into the winter time. But um, that's okay. I did some animal work when I first got here, so they're all good. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, I'm telling you. I don't know. I think they got all the bales off that front field, but we got plenty of straw bales. Holy crap! Hey, cows. Good to see you, cows. Um, so we're sitting pretty good there. And then the other thing is, is that it, 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 it just be rotting away now, and kind of worthless. But um, I told them, go go there and sell them. Go there and sell them, and we can uh, make a little bit of money on that. But um, like I said, I was worried about Sophie. I mean, I don't want to see Sophie in jail. Sophie in jail would not do very good with these outstanding checks there. So we, maybe tomorrow I should. I, I, I should. Oh, look, the treat change is nice. Um, maybe I should go borrow the money. We're, we're going to have it back. I mean, if we if we bought those if we bought those two onion fields, holy crap, we'd have the money made back in a, in a heartbeat because that's there's big money in onions. And besides, I want to get I want to get some big boy equipment. We, you know, we've got big fields now. We need we need big boy equipment. So, wait, no, we did. We, we, oh, yeah, crap, I forgot about that. We did buy a bunch of cloth stuff. Oh, yeah, so we, we do have a bunch of the cloth trackers that we bought. But we need uh, big boy tillage equipment and big boy cedars and all that kind of stuff. So I want to get that done, so we'll need some money for that. And plus we'd have to, I don't know, well, maybe our potato harvest, no, our potato harvester, can that be, can we just get a different header and convert that over to onions? I can't remember. It's been so long, man. It's been so long since I've been here. I miss my Polish farming empire. Uh, it's nice when you uh, have big boy stuff and uh, make a little bit of money, but we'll get this down to the get this down to the train rail cars. I think we've got two cars filled up. So, if I remember right, wasn't the wasn't a whole train load about a quarter million dollars? Wasn't that about right? I think. So, I think I when I figured it out, didn't we have about 2.2, 2.3 million dollars? Come on, truck. This is a big load, 26.87 tons of uh, premium potatoes. Um, I want to say we had about 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, somewhere in there, million dollars worth of potatoes when I figured it out with the, um, the yield and the price. So we are making big, we are making big bucks. We, are, we, we have the possibility to make big bucks, and I think it's, I think it all coming together. I think it all coming together, but we just need that uh, money as an operating loan to get us through here a little bit. That's all we would need. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that you can't get up on that road from down here. I gotta cut through my field. And I bet you there's still bales sitting out here in the rain. But I'm not real worried about it because we've got, uh, yeah, look at that, sitting out there in the rain. I tell you what, JT Mama and Rich K, they're kind of disappointing me. Yeah, well, crap, we still got all kinds of bales out there, don't we? Uh, man, oh man, uh, I can't remember how many bales we had, but I mean, we're stocked up on straw bales. Oh, crap, we could probably go a couple years with all the straw bales we have, so I don't even know if I'm going to, yeah, I'll probably still build some up, but holy crap, that's like, yeah, they're still building, they're rotting away in the, in the rain. Good call, guys, good one. Hard to find good help these days, hard to find good help these days, but I probably should, um, this truck is getting gutless. This truck is, come on truck, I know it's 26 tons of wash premium, premium potatoes, but um, holy buckets, come on truck. We do have a fleet of rainbow trucks though, that's for sure, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, I can't remember when I, I drove down here when we first got here, and I can't remember exactly how many cars are full, I think there's only two cars full of um, potatoes, and then we'll take the train, we hijacked the train. Then we'll take the chain, train down to that Romplex, Romplex, and then we can uh, sell them all at one time, so that should be pretty good. That should be, that should be pretty darn good. For a minute there, I thought it was an ATS going to get there. Hear the beep beep noise of my overspeed. No. Oh, and then the other thing. Oh, I forgot about that. I got a, I got a uh, call from uh, the boys, um, George and Luke, down at the uh, Deer Run Farms over there at the uh, the ghetto farm, you know. And fish production has, has begun. So we got to get over there and uh, check out the fish fish production from that, from those boys and um, get some more work done there. They got the two fields. 
and then we'll probably get we'll probably bring a truck over there, and we can haul in some of the compound feed for the fish, and then the uh, diesel fuel. Or maybe, you know what? No, I, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of um, hauling the equipment over there. If we if we did do that, 2.4 million, we, we gotta get we gotta get those boys some equipment. They, they need they need some equipment. I think they're building the house. Oh wait, I, oh, why are you not? Why did you skip that one? Something's going on here. I'll back up the train here a little bit, but we'll pull in here and get to the the conveyor. Yeah, so that's what we need more money for too, to get them some equipment set up on that farm over there. I forgot all about that. Yeah, they don't have any equipment. Oh man. Can't have that problem now, can we? There we go. I'm gonna pull up the sissy yak. Yeah, I gotta fill. Well, I feel I can just. I'm gonna fill them both anyways. Um, might as well. See, I might have to jump in that conveyor and get that thing running. Yep. Turn it on. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a Polish mosquito in my mouth. So I'll get that unloaded. Oh wait, so that's that's one. Oh, there's three full cars. Okay. Three full cars. We're sitting pretty good. Well, I'm gonna get this unloaded. I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything else unloaded, and then. Um, Probably wait until the morning see the weather does before you make a decision on this uh, onion and uh, stuff. And hopefully the rain quits and we can um, finish up the potato harvest and maybe I don't know invest in some onions. The guy, the guy is a heart. The guy, the, the guy's wife ran off with um, the guy's secretary. Yeah, the, the two girls ran off together. So he's he's broken hearted and he um, he was willing to sell and onions in the field is not you know. So I said, hey, he called me up and cause knew that I was a big onion farmer at one time and said, oh, yeah, yeah, I might be interested in that. But, you know, that's, what, $650,000 worth of land there? But, man, the onion, the, I don't even know why he doesn't do it himself. I would if I was him. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens here in just a little bit. All right, my friends, we have got every single car except the last one has 94% of it. So we were able to unload all our trucks into here. We're going to stop at Rompelix, Rompelix, and we are going to unload, my friends. Unload our potatoes and see how much money we make. Now, the bad news is, uh, is this Rompelix? I can't remember. This is Rompelix for the next one. No, that's the, that's the, that's the, this one here. Yeah. Rompelix, yeah, that's that's the barn, or the, the railroad silo. Yep. Yeah. So we'll pull in here to Roplex and we will sell these potatoes again and see how much we make off all these potato these uh, premium potatoes. Oh, stop. There you go. All right, there's one car. 188 tons of taters. So what is the price? The price here at Romplex is, I just looked it up, uh, $1,827 a ton. It's higher at Agra Undo, but I can't get there on the train. So this is our option here. So hey, I mean, it's, it's 60 bucks a ton. I mean, you know, we're not talking major, major bucks there. But um, 57,900 a rail car. Okay. I can go along with that. I can go along with that. But yeah, like I said, uh, rain in the forecast for tomorrow. So I don't really know if our uh, onion plan is going to work or not. That's just the thing. And then the other thing is, I can't remember, I thought they were building a, um, a potato factory in town too. So I was thinking maybe we could haul some of our potatoes there instead of running them through the through all the wash plant. You know, that's kind of that's kind of an idea that I have been pondering myself. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to unload the car here. We'll see how much we get. 67000 for that one. Okay. Um, what do you got? Two cars to go? So that's a little over a hundred thousand there. It's not onion money. It's not onion money, but it is still damn good money. It is still damn good money. Um, so yeah. So I think we'll have to wait in the morning and see what the weather does, and uh, if there's a chance that we could purchase 
Um, well, Sophie, Sophie is uh, getting closer to not going to prison. Uh, if there's a chance that we could purchase that and get the onions off. The nice thing is, it's right, it's right down the street down there, so we don't have very far to go. Um, you know what I mean? Let's see. 90. 90,000 for that car. Oh, wow. I'm loving it. This is the last car we had. This was one full. I wonder if that that box, car, you know, that open top box car must be the must be more capacity than uh, the other ones. So, holy crap, we're almost down. <laughs> we're almost down to a million in the hole, and we still we still got tons of potatoes to um, wash and sort. So, wait, why does it still say that I have? There's no potatoes in that car. Why does it still say that I have potatoes on here? Um, well, did I do something wrong? That's the second one. That's the first one. Oh, slow down. Okay. Nothing in there. That's empty. I can't get out far enough to see the second one. That one's empty. The third one's empty. Fourth one. No potatoes in there. And the fifth one. Oh, there we go. Oh, stop. Back up. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it there for, to, well, I'm going to go to sleep. And uh, we'll see what happens in the morning of the weather. And uh, kind of go from there, but the, all the potatoes have been sold, so that is good. I can return the, uh, we'll just back up here off the tracks and park it. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. We um, ended up doing a thing. We did, we did a thing. We, uh, we had to save Sophie. We had to save Sophie. Sophie just couldn't hang on to the rope, and she had to go there. So, we borrowed some money. We did. We borrowed some money. And uh, went down to the local credit union. They gave us $1.9 million. So we were able to stop. Stop, Sophie. Sorry, stop. There you go. I'm going to fill this up. So we borrowed $1.9 million. We paid off our debt. Well, the back checks. So we got $23,206 in the bank. Because I, uh, I also bought those two fields. 50 and 50 women have onions on them. I did call Ken Jorgensen down at the dealership. And he set me up with two uh, onion harvesters. I leased. They're, they're, they're expensive lease. So they are down there. Mama and JT are down there right now doing some onion. But here's the thing. There is a storm moving in. A storm moving in. So I don't know if we're going to get the whole field harvested. That's why I went with two. And uh, we'll just kind of have to go from there. Now, because I got all these other trucks sitting in line with the potato washers. And oh, I got something going on here. Uh, let me cancel that. Uh, I've got all the trucks in line with uh, potatoes in them. Some are filling up premium potatoes. So I only really have one truck here free. So I'm kind of... Oh, God, I smashed into the blue truck. Oh, sorry about that blue truck. I put a dent in there. After they got down to the dealership and get that uh, looked at. So anyways, <laughs> and to be honest, there's a lot of activity going on in this little area here. So it gets to be just a little bit laggy. So I'm going to dump all the potatoes in here. I did... Um, you know, I did contact the uh, potato factory downtown, and they are looking for taters too, so I'm thinking I might haul some in there as well and uh, see how that goes. But i got to get this truck down to the onion people, JT and Mama down there, because they need to um, 
get their harvesters unloaded. And we can sell the onions right away. We're just going to go right up the street to Romplex 1 or whatever it is, I think. Romp Romplex 1? Yeah. So we'll just do that, and uh, hopefully this all works out for the best. Really is a beautiful autumn day, though. I got to tell you that. It's 44 degrees. A little sweatshirt weather. You got a sweatshirt on, but uh, other than that, you know, it's not that bad of a day, and it's a good day to do some onions and potatoes. Damn right it is, my friends. So I'm hoping that this onion's going to pay off. I, I really am. I'm kind of thinking it's got to pay off. If I can get enough harvested to uh, get that big chunk of our uh, federal credit union loan down, we might be sitting okay. But like I said, this, the thunderstorms are, I mean, they're coming. I think, uh, let's see, what time is it now? It's 10, 16 in the morning. I'm thinking about 1 o'clock, maybe, maybe even earlier that it's going to start uh, storming. So we'll, we will have to shut down the harvest there too. So whatever we can get out of these two fields, um, we're just going to do our best. I thought about getting another harvester and having three out there, but they're like about almost 30 grand a lease. And, you know, the hourly rate is just going to, holy crap, it's going to kill me there. I think off to the right is the, uh, yeah, right back there is the potato factory. So I'm going to have to look into that. I might, I might haul some in there and see what we get. But we'll head down here to 5051, and this is, we got a short little trip. Look out, buddy. Come on. I'm in a hurry. A uh, short little trip up to the Romplex, and then we can sell the uh, onions and see how much money we make. Am I going the right way here? Uh, oh, no, I didn't go the right way. I forgot to turn. I got to turn back there. Ah, oh, crap. I have to get turned around here. I think I was supposed to go, um, yeah, I gotta go left back here. That's where I gotta go. Oh, nope, yep. JT and Mama, they're gonna be a little irritated with me. It's taking me longer. I was supposed to bring them some, some breakfast, and I haven't done that yet either. Oh, look at you should walk on the sidewalk. Oh, there. Yeah, both of them are just sitting here, patiently waiting for my arrival. Let's see. We'll take uh, we'll take Mama first, ladies first. Yeah, but this is the, this is the onion field, isn't it big? Fifty and fifty-one here. I'm telling you, uh, it's either going to go good or going to go bad. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get this filled up with onions. Fifty-one is a small one over there. That's just a little bit smaller. There's a little grass strip, so I'm going to combine the two um, after we get the onions harvested, or whatever, whatever we get before it starts storming. I kind of took a gamble, and I was kind of thinking, you know, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to see how much onions we can get off of here. So, I mean, one hopper of the harvester is 66% full of my uh, my truck. So we'll swing around here, and we'll get. Um, we get JT unloaded, then he can get going again. I should be good. I should. Sophie should be good for a little bit yet, but maybe I might have to get uh, Rich K in one of the trucks and get him down to the potato field because I don't. I can't keep up with just me. That's just too much driving there. But quad quality, high quality onions here. So this is um, a, a truck load. Uh, for me is going to be 16 tons. So you know what the price of onions are. It's all going to pay off. It is definitely all going to pay off. One truckload. Um, big bucks in onions here in Poland. But onion shortage. Terrible onion shortage. And I can't believe this guy. Um, he was so distraught that he didn't want to um, he didn't want to harvest his onions. So I said, hey, well, it's, a, it's more power to me, I guess. Let's see. Now, Rompolex is right here. Now I gotta figure out where the onions go. Let me see. No, well, I can buy there. Must be back around the corner here. Can I remember if I sold onions here before or not? I think that was Rompolex 2. Didn't I sell onions in Rompolex 2? Uh, big production facility here. They got a lot going on. But I like them. I like them. They treat me nice. I'm assuming it must be up in here, huh? We'll just do a swing around and look at the board here. Do they want the onions? No, that's a farm silo. Uh, oh, maybe up here. 
I went the wrong way. Yeah, that's the farm side, though. Um, yeah, onions right there. Okay. Do I need to give you a ticket or anything? Nope, you're good. You got my license plate number? Okay. We'll just swing in there and sell this load of onion. This should be big bucks. I got a lot going on today. Holy crap, I got to do the program. I got to get all this harvesting done so I can get over to the uh, ghetto farm and see uh, the deer run farm boys and, get, and see how that fish is going and get them equipment. But we sold a bunch of potatoes last night, made a bunch of money in that, so we'll have another, we'll start filling another train car here when we get a bunch made. In the meantime, this should be big bucks. This should be big bucks. Oh, heck yeah, look at that money. Just, look at that money just goes flying. That is awesome. That is an awesome, awesome sight. Oh, it's a good thing, isn't it? When you just see your bank account just go up like that, like win the lottery. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost like stealing candy from a baby, though. It really is. Um, yep. It's like stealing candy from a baby. 241000 for a load of onions. Oh, man. Uh, I don't get any better than that. It does not get any better than that. Okay, let's get back to the onion field. I'll get them unloaded one more time. And, uh, yeah, life is good, my friends. All right, I'm going to have another full load of onions. Uh, this will be the second full load of onions. Let's get uh, this harvester here. I did get another truck parked over to Sophie. Um, I'm going to take some loads down to the uh, potato factory, and we're going to see how that turns out. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on there. So we'll do that. But holy crap, man. I don't know. I don't know how I don't know. I don't know how many loads are going to get off. If I can get enough loads off of onions to pay off the debt, I'd, I'd just be happy. Um, like I said, the uh, storm is coming. You can see it up there in the corner. Thunder showers are in the future. And I should, actually should have. Uh, I should have time. I believe time works at now because I'm trying to get as much off as I can. There you go. Another full load. Like taking candy from a baby. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Sophie and I planted some onions over there on our challenge farm with the golf cart jockey one. So, but the onion prices aren't as good over over in the uh, Chellington Valley than they are uh, here in Poland. I don't know why, but it's, yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. So when Sophie finishes up, she's got just a couple more passes on the one field, then she has that other little small field to do. And then all those fields, I mean, we could buy them, I suppose, if we wanted to buy them and combine them. Uh, we could certainly do that. We can look into the price of that. That's just right across from the farm, so that's kind of handy. Um, but right now, they were just leased, so i got to remember to um, take off the lease. We don't keep getting charged for leasing fees over the winter. We don't want that. Um, unless we buy them. You know, maybe, maybe we'll just buy them. Um kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. We can go this way. There's a lot going on. It gets a little uh, jittery here. A lot going on. Yeah, this is almost like unfair. It, it, it really is. It's almost unfair. It's like you almost feel guilty. No, I vote. I didn't set the prices. I'm not the one that having the onion shortage in Poland. Yeah, look at that. That money is just uh, just piling up. Well, uh, that'd be the second load. We'll go. I'll bring this back to them, and then I gotta try to maybe Rich K can give me a ride. But we also we're also cutting the gr our grass field again and making silage bills. So he's been busy doing that. Um, I think maybe I'll. Uh, head over to the other truck and once that gets loaded, yeah, half a million dollars already piece of cake. This farming stuff is easy. Who said farming is hard? Farming's a piece of cake. Everybody should be doing it. This is all you have to do is drive a truck back and forth and make money. I can do that. I can do that, my friends. But yeah, you gotta check on the other potato harvester. And I, I was, when I was at the potato warehouse earlier, I got all the lines up and running again. So um, I want to get a load of potatoes and bring it down here to this potato factory and um, see what that is all about. 
Sophie's got another full load of a potato truck, and there she is there, so she should have enough on her room and her hopper to finish this past little path there, and then all we have is that little field there. But let's hop into the truck here. I'm going to go down to the potato factory, and I talked to the boys down there, and they're going to let us uh, bring in some potatoes, because they're kind of they're kind of a shortage, so um, this truck needs service and fuel too. Come on, truck. Get up and running, buddy. I know you. I know you got a full load of potatoes on here, but come on, you, you can you can go a little faster than this. This is uh, fiddly wink stuff. Come on. Come on, truck. I have to get this down to Ken down to the dealership and have him uh, get a service mechanics down there. Go on to the road and we'll head down there. Then I suppose, you know what I was thinking about, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but um, if we make some money off onions, I think there is another loaded semi almost, so, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, trying to revamp some farm equipment on the farm. I want to go big boy stuff, we need big boy tillage stuff, we need big boy cedar stuff. So I think I mentioned that earlier, but I want to, I want to get that done as well. So that'll, that'll be an expense, and then figure out what land we have, and, uh, and kind of go from there. So, of course, you got to get uh, Sophie's wacky tobacco planted again and um, keep our potatoes, figure out what we're going to plant in potatoes. Um, onions? Uh, you know, the first time I did onions, I said, no, no, I'm not going to do that again. It's just, it's, just, it's just too easy. And then, well, then when I was, Sophie was going to prison, I thought, oh, crap, i got to get some onions. So I was looking around for onion field and found that one down there and thought, oh, man, it's just, I might as well. I, I might as well do it. Uh, keep Sophie out of trouble. And plus, we're going to need some growing capital for uh, for the ghetto farm over there. Yeah, I think I'm going to... If we can get the... If it starts raining now, we can't finish the onions, uh, I might head over there uh, either late tonight or tomorrow morning and uh, get them guys set up. But right now, i got to get as much done with the onions and get the potatoes done as I can. Uh, Back this way. Now we'll turn here. There you go, buddy. Hope you just missed my trailer. And we'll pull into the potato factory. You gotta jump the curb here a little bit, don't you? Okay, I gotta figure out where the potatoes go, is what I wanna know. Um where do they want these taters? I have no idea. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. That's This is the carton production facility. Oh, potatoes must be back over here. Um, okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, right there, baby. Potatoes go right there. Um, there's already some potatoes in there. Where do I put my potatoes? I want to put my potatoes somewhere. Um... Where's a little board? Here's a little board. What do we got going on here? Uh, sorted potatoes? Oh, you need sorted potatoes? No. Sorted potato production. I don't. I don't. I'm not giving you a sorted. Oh, potatoes. This. Oh, they have. A, they do sorting here too, huh? Oh, cool. Uh, baked potato and French fry production. Okay. So I'll just jump off some potatoes. I don't have any. Um, Somebody's bringing in sort of potato. I don't. I, did I bring in a little bit? Maybe I did bring in a little bit to chuck it. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember what's going to be unloaded here. Well, let's get this unloaded here. And um, I think it's right up here. I think it's right up here. Maybe. Yeah. Right here. So I could jump across the street and go get that other truck and take that in and get that unloaded. That's what's going to unload there. Maybe I'll do that. 88% in this truck. Let's head down here to uh, Mama and we'll just have this. Uh, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, he's right on the edge of the field. Oh, there's a grass field there. And I'll have um, Mama top this one off. And then we'll <laughs> sell this again. I tell you what. Um, I think in about... Well, in 20 minutes or so, I'm going to get charged a whopping hourly fee. I'll have that expense here, plus uh, payroll to expend. But 
We'll just get topped off. 12% more to go on this truck. And then we can take it and empty it. There you go. We got a full load. Back to Romplex. Wow, I'm, I'm busy. I'm a truck driving fool today. Well, Sophie is just going to start the last potato field. Right there, field number eight. And then we are done with the potato harvest. The truck has got half full, so I'm going to sit here and wait until she has a full load, and then I'll um, take it down. Probably to the potato factory again. We'll try it. We'll do a couple more loads down there. Um, the one load at the onions gives another 241,000, so we're sitting pretty good at 743. As long as we can get enough harvest done before the rain hits, we'll be sitting pretty good. But um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish this potato field. It's a small one, a little strip here. We'll finish that. And we'll do enough potatoes until it starts raining. Or onions until it starts raining. And then we'll kind of go from there. So later tonight, we should have a game plan of how much money we have. Um, how much debt is left. If we can get it all paid off, plus have some money in the bank. I hope that's kind of my thinking. That's kind of my plan. And then um, I think tonight, we'll probably, this, later this afternoon, once we finish this potato field, we'll start filling rail cars again with full of potatoes. And we'll have um, some income there. But we'll see uh, later on today next time. Anyways, I'll leave it there for today. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time on the Polish farming empire, but, um, oh, God, it's so much fun. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Keep remaining safe and healthy, my friends. Take care and keep them between the ditches. So long.